got Barbara here. Hope you're having a fantastic week. So today I want to talk to you, or I want to ask you the question, what is it that you're resisting? What are you resisting in your business? Now, the reason I'm asking this question is because uh, about, about three months ago, I decided to put some structure into how I manage my, my working week. Now, I'd always resisted this because I told myself that I didn't like structure, that I liked spontaneity, that I had to be available for my clients, that I liked uh, that, it, that any kind of structure would dampen my creativity. And, and so I resisted it for, for quite a long time, actually, until I decided that enough was enough, that I had to kind of give it a go and see how it works for me and create a structure that was right for me. And you know what? You know what I'm going to tell you, don't you? It worked an absolute dream. It was just sheer perfection. It provided more flow as, uh, as opposed to less. It gave me room to breathe. It gave me a lot more headspace to think. It um, improved my creativity. And it also helped me serve my clients better as opposed to you know restrict it in any way shape or form which leads me to ask the question to you and it also i ask the question myself as well what is it that you're resisting what is it that you're resisting now chances are that as you're listening to this you can put your finger on it immediately because resistance feels a little bit uncomfortable doesn't it and the thing is that I, I want you to have a think about what is it, why is it that you're resisting it? What, what, is, what you're resisting and why you're resisting it? So I've got a few tips for you to, to help you out with this, to kind of nudge you along. Because I have a theory, and it is just a theory, but I have a theory that when we resist something, chances are it is going to benefit us and it is going to help us out along the way. It's just that we're a little bit uncomfortable by it because it might be out of our comfort zone. It might be something new. It might be, you know, it goes. It might go against any kind of belief that we might have at the moment. And but ultimately, it will benefit us. So let's have a look at what these tips are. Tip number one is ask yourself that very same question that I've asked you. What is it that you're resisting? And, and you probably you are probably going to be able to put your finger on it if you're not journal it you know if you if you can't put your finger on it rather just journal it get ask the, write down on a on a on a, in a notepad book what am I resisting right now and see what comes up for you yeah tip number two is ask yourself what's your reason for resisting it and at this point you might find some stories that you've been telling yourself popping up things like mine were I don't like structure it's going to dampen my creativity my clients need me it's going to stop me being spontaneous all of that sort of stuff I didn't have any evidence to suggest that it, that would happen it was just things that I made up it was just stories that I would they were just stories that I was telling myself so ask yourself the very same question what's your reason for resisting it and see what comes up for you see what what <coughs> excuse me what excuses pop up what what messages you're telling yourself and just see what see what see what happens and my tip number three is to test and measure now i'm not the type of person that would tell you to just dive in to do something because if it works for me it'll work for everybody it's just simply not the case however i do encourage people to just test and measure things for themselves to create a little mini experiment and during that experiment just to you know see how it works just tweak things adopt adapt things move things around make it work for you you know just play around with an idea just to see whether it's something that would work for you so if you are resisting something give yourself a couple of weeks and think right okay what well, i'm just gonna nudge into it i'm gonna ease into it and just play around and see whether it'll actually work for me see whether there's some truth in all of the stories that i've been telling myself or in actual fact it is going to benefit me and then and then see what the results tell you and if it works awesome you can use it and move on if not go back to the drawing board so those are my three tips for stopping the resistance 
Yeah, I'd love to hear your comments. So in the comments, here's what I want. I'd love to know what works for you. What is it that you're resisting at the minute? And if you've got any tips that you can share, then all oh, that's so much the better. Please do share. All right, then I will see you next week. Have a fantastic week and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.